The men's professional field at the Ironman World Championship has been really shaken up because of a string of injuries, but that's likely only going to make Saturday's race even more exciting and unpredictable. Jan Frodeno, Terenzo Bazzone, Boris Stein, Nick Castelline, and Ben Hoffman have all pulled out of the race due to injuries. Jan Frodeno is certainly the biggest name that's had to pull out due to injury, but all five of those athletes could have played a big factor in the race, especially on the bike. So what does this mean in terms of how the race is going to shake out? Well, this year's race is shaping up to look a lot like last year's race. It's looking like there could be a very large main pack, and then there's going to be a small group of super bikers who are going to have a deficit in the swim, and they're going to look to put big time into the runners on the bike and be able to hang on for the run. The super bikers coming from behind out of the swim are going to be Cameron Wirf, Sebastian Keenley, Lionel Sanders, and possibly Andreas Dreitz. Keenley and Sanders are going to be the athletes you're really going to want to have your eye on in that group. But Cameron Wirth shown improved run form in 2018, and he does own the Hawaii bike course record. So if this year's bike plays out similar to last year, then the question becomes, have either Sanders or Keenley improved more on their swim and their run than Patrick Lang's been able to improve on the bike? With that said, I do see there being potential for this race to play out very differently, and that's if a front swim pack's able to get away, kind of like at the 70.3 Worlds this year. With athletes like Josh Amberger, Javier Gomez, Braden Curry, Igor Amorelli, Patrick Nielsen, Andy Potts, Tim O'Donnell, there's quite a bit of swim speed and the potential to get away, and if they're able to commit to get away, then they could try and disappear up the Queen K. This is where injuries to athletes like Ben Hoffman and Terenzo Bazzone do really hurt because they've got the swim speed to make that front group, they could drive the pace on the bike, and they've proven that they can run well in Kona. So the question then becomes, who am I picking for the podium? I'm gonna go Lionel Sanders, Patrick Nielsen, Braden Curry. I think this year's men's race is completely wide open and there's gonna be a lot of fireworks out on the course. No one's gonna to wanna to come off the bike anywhere near Patrick Lange, so I think they're gonna really push the pace on the bike and I think that main pack is gonna splinter. I expect to see a lot of guys pushing the pace and there's gonna be a number of explosions out there on the run, but then there's also gonna be a few guys who are able to hang on. Lionel Sanders had a great swim over the Ironman course last Saturday, swimming 51 minutes. So I think that's a really good indication for him and Keenlay and Worf have been showing some great improvements. So they shouldn't have as big of a deficit this year. I think all the other athletes are gonna make it a really tough ride on Patrick Lange on the bike, kind of like what happened to Craig Alexander in 2010. So although I think that Patrick Lange will win another Ironman World Championship, I don't think it's gonna be this year. At Ironman Frankfurt, Patrick Nielsen showed that he could hang with the best of the best, swimming and biking with Patrick Lange and Jan Frodeno, and then finishing in second place there. And for Braden Curry, he really had a breakthrough result at the Ironman Asian Pacific Championships. He's shown that he is one of the best swimmers in the sport, he's a really strong cyclist, and he was able to outrun Javier Gomez in the marathon. So those are my picks. I'd say I'm just as likely to get one of them right as I am to get all of them completely wrong. It's gonna be a really exciting men's race. I can't wait to watch it. So thanks a lot for checking out this video. Good luck to everybody who's racing in Kona. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this new crazy mother.